Dear friends, welcome to Tech Nursery. In this video, I am going to discuss about an error which occurred when I was working with a React Native project. I have loaded my React Native project Android part on my Android Studio. And I am going to click on Sync project with the Gradle files. Check on my terminal Android build model. Let us wait. I got an error. Caused by org.gradle.api.invalid user code exception cannot run project. after evaluate closure when the project is already evaluated this is what i got on my build terminal if i click on android failed there is detailed error description failure build failed with an exception where script at a particular location in react.gradle what went wrong? A problem occurred evaluating script. Cannot run project dot after evaluate closure when the project is already evaluated. If we scroll down, I can see one another warning. Deprecated Gradle features were used in this build, making it inco incompatible with the Gradle 9.0. You can use hyphen hyphen warning hyphen mode space all to show the individual deprecation warnings and determine if they are they have come from your own scripts or plugins so i am going to use this option hyphen hyphen warning hyphen mode space all to find the individual deprecations warning because first let me go to my project structure here, I am using Gradle version 8.9, which is the latest stable Gradle version. It was 7.2 when I created this project earlier, before long time, it was on 7.2 Gradle version. But Today, I change it to 8.9, my Gradle version. And I changed Gradle plugin version also. It was 4.1.1, but I changed it to 4.1.1. You can change the Gradle version here directly from this drop down window. And if you want to change this Android Gradle plugin version, you can change it from I will show you built root gradle here you can mention 4.1.3 it was 4.1.1 before i changed it to 4.1.3 because i want my project to be updated with the latest gradle version that's why i changed it otherwise when we i when i upload to play store also in the future it will make more headaches so this is the current gradle version android gradle plugin version and gradle version so with this i want to fix this issue mainly i am focusing this issue in this small video deprecated gradle feature were used in this build making it incompatible with the gradle 9.0 so in order to fix this issue, what I am going to do is, I am going to copy this one. Let me copy and I am going to terminal. I am going to click on terminal. Let me minimize this one. Click on terminal. Okay. Here I am going to execute this command. Dot forward slash gradilu space clean hyphen hyphen warning hyphen mode 
space or and enter key. Evaluating settings, zero percentage initializing. Let us wait. Let it be executed. Thirteen seconds, fourteen seconds. Evaluating. Yes, we got the message. Build failed. But we can check the detailed log report. This was our command. Configure project, build the file, build to the gradle at line 13. The repository handle of JS sender method has been deprecated. This is scheduled to be removed in the gradle 9.0. Yes, it is going to be removed from gradle. Okay, but currently we are using gradle version 8.9, but it is going to be removed from gradle. In the next version, next version is 9. That's it is mentioned here. Jeff Rock announced a JSON race sunset in February 2021. Use Maven Central instead. That's what I got on this trace. Let it, if you go down, yes. So we have to go to Android build dot grad. It's already opened here. Here, yeah, repositories instead of JS sender at line 13, which is mentioned here. I want type, I want to use Maven Central. Let me, okay, good. Let us check if there any other occurrence of, okay, here also. We have to change. We saved it. Save all. Only two occurrence. Okay. Yes, it is mentioned here. Line thirty-five also. That's that is the one we changed here. This thirty-five line. Okay. Now, let us run that command again. Let me clear and uh, we are going to execute the same command again and make sure that there is no deprecation warnings. We are not focusing on not, not any other things. We are focusing on say, remove that deprecation warning. We got the same message, build failed, but let us check whether there is any deprecation warnings. No. You see, there is no deprecation warnings. We fixed it by using hyphen hyphen warning hyphen mode space all. So I hope this video is helpful for you. If you face the same error, caused by org.gradle.api.invalid user code exception, Cannot run project after evaluate closure when the project is already evaluated. I will help you to fix this in the next video. Thank you.